On October 30, 2007, multiple leading companies from South Korea, a leading nation in broadband technology that is charging ahead of others for expansion in the Japanese WiMAX market, held an exhibit in Shinagawa, Tokyo to showcase their products and technological collaborations. The WiMAX is the very convenient technology to access the internet in any place, in any time, with it wirelessly. It allows the more high bandwidth interaction. Uh, we'd like to show our product to the Japanese market, uh, especially we, because uh, we heard that the Japanese market will be go to the mobile WiMAX uh, at the end of this year. Wibro is an abbreviation for wireless broadband and is the unique service name for the WiMAX standard used by South Korea. KT is a service provider and have many cooperation with uh, Japanese industrial companies such as NTT and KDDI. So we are cooperating with the system and go forward, go toward the world, world market. It should be a very good chance for us to, to work with, together with, I mean, the, to work together with the mobile WMS operators yeah, through these yeah, exhibitions and uh, the conference. And we, are quite, we know, quite know well the, the Japan. Japan's market is one of the biggest markets in the world and now focusing on the Japan's market sales and trying to get in this market yeah, to get, I mean, through the mobile wireless operators. What will the impact be from the expansion in the Japanese market by leading companies from South Korea that deal with Wibro-related products? The Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications announced that two companies in Japan will acquire WiMAX licensing sometime in 2007. Japan is a highly mobile society, so WiMAX will likely be of keen interest to those living in Japan because it enables high-speed internet access anytime, anyplace. In the near future, it may be you, as a future WiMAX user, who knows the final answer to that question. Digging for news.